Let's make some resources. Let's think about another really useful application for resources. Think about relationships where an entity is one or more things. In Pokemon, for instance, this is as simple as Dave the Squirtle is a Squirtle. And Squirtle is a type of a Pokemon species. In a fantasy role-playing game with Dungeons & Dragons flavors, Blofeld J. Firefang is a wizard class and a dwarf species. How do we store Dave's squirtleness or Blofeld's wizardness and dwarfness? Students in their very first Java class might leap to inheritance as the answer. Since Squirtle is a type of Pokemon and Dave is a Squirtle, maybe we should have a Squirtle be a class that inherits from a Pokemon class and have Dave be an instantiation of Squirtle. There are some major problems with this, though. Are we going to have to write 150 to 1,000-ish new classes, one for each Pokemon species? How much code duplication is going to be happening between these, since most species share very similar functionality? Who's going to maintain those scripts? Not your little brother who can't code. What about Blofeld? Is he more of a dwarf or is he more of a wizard? Should we try to make him inherit from both? Most languages do not allow this, and maybe that's for a good reason, because it's a mess. We want a simpler solution for storing these ideas, one that we can actually maintain. And could we perhaps use resources to deal with this? Yeah, 